Bitcoin is getting clapped. <laughs> Bitcoin down like from the highs. Bitcoin currently down 37% for a lot of you Bitcoin holders. And we might see a bounce here at the moving average. Just saying. But literally breached through two different literally breached through two different supports and it ain't looking all that great for Bitcoin. Now there's been a lot of narratives going around about you know Elon Musk at one point very much for Bitcoin and then very oddly coming out and being somewhat against Bitcoin and then he's for Doge and then he's not for Doge and then it's Doge to the moon and watch SNL and then he shits on Doge and then the next one he's like well we might you know let you buy our cars in Doge and it's just like are you schizophrenic like you just like all over the place man and I'm just saying right so the narrative was that the pipeline right the colonial pipeline was hacked right and as a result of the hacking it says that this was a story that came out just a couple of days ago this is from the 18th so it's actually today and then it says hackers behind colonial pipeline shut down extorted 90 million from dozens of victims and it goes on to say that there was 90 million in bitcoin right it says the wallet showed over 90 million in bitcoin payments were made to dark side now it's amazing that all the that forbes has all of this information it's like we don't know who they are but we have almost all the details of what's going on and then the u.s government gets hacked half of the oil in the country that literally for the eastern half of the country gets shut down for a couple of days and then supposedly the company pays the hackers and then everything goes back to normal within a couple of days although they are still talking about some issues here and there which was posted i believe today that there were some uh there were some system issues that were going on now with that said you know you have individuals like uh joe biden today he says joe biden uh, drives electric vehicles and touts it as the future of the auto industry right and we see uh it's funny because like the, the the hackers are just like well we didn't mean to cause problems <laughs> i'm just like where are they getting their quotes from like do you imagine that these people who were responsible for the hack are literally going on to social media and posting this stuff and they were like oopsies we really didn't mean to cause that much problem now <laughs> this is like so funny right so the narrative, of course, is that electric vehicles are going to be the wave of the future. And very oddly, we have a gas hack, right? We have a hack on the gas pipeline. Joe Biden goes out there, touts electric vehicles, electric vehicles escape. And of course, we have this article says electric vehicles escaped last week's gas, gas sor uh, shortage. But the next cyber attack could take them down. Instead, this is the hacking of the colonial pipeline showed the vulnerability of the U.S. infrastructure. But the electric grid is just as vulnerable. And it's almost like they tell you what's going to happen before it does happen. Now, they have been touting that electric vehicles are the wave of the future, right? But then, and, and you know, Joe Biden, he has all these different people that are working for him and of course you have people like for example john Kerry, um who is named the climate czar because supposedly the world is going to end because of climate change and very ironically then they look into his financials and they're like why are you so heavily invested in oil and so when you actually look at uh, we'll look at uh x like for example because he was in exxon mobile right and so when you look at where he sold like sometime in the beginning of may right so when you look at from where Exxon Mobil has gone, it's like almost what almost a hundred percent gain for those of those for those individuals, right? And so the narrative is that electricity is the wave of the future, right? But then you have these government officials that are supposedly in, heavily invested in oil. Then you have a hack on the gas that involves Bitcoin. People are trying to clamp down on bitcoin elon musk previously previously is like bitcoin to the moon bitcoin is the wave of the future right highest gas prices in six years and this is only going to go on joe biden recently i think it was yesterday he said that 
the shortages and the price hike, the pricing is just, we're just in the beginning, right? He's like, just because we throw the switch back on doesn't mean that the prices are just all of a sudden going to come down and the gas is going to start flowing freely to the rest of the country. You know, they're, they're, they're prepping you for what's to come, especially as people start driving and uh, people want to go on vacation and it becomes hot outside because we're going to be hitting the summer months. And typically by June is when you have the highest gas prices, right? And so... I'm just saying, like, just looking at oil, right? We're going to look at oil, right? 65 is a critical point for oil. If oil breaches 65, it will trade higher, more than likely hitting $100 a barrel. Just saying, right? And so there was this news of, there was this news that, you know, the pipeline and then India cases, and so they were worried about, um, oil distribution, because if India locks down then the amount of oil that is necessary, they're going to cut it, et cetera. And so you saw, uh, you saw oil trade right here, right? So there's a whole lot of noise going on in the market, right? And a lot of it is obviously manufactured. And then previously, like I said, Elon Musk was so enthusiastic about Bitcoin and then Dogecoin, et cetera, right? And the pipeline gets hacked for Bitcoin. And I'm just saying, if you are, if you are being extorted, maybe you want to get it at a cheaper price, right? If you're being extorted, maybe you want to get the Bitcoin at a cheaper price. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> it's just my opinion here, right? Because Bitcoin, because Elon Musk is all of a sudden talking about it's high time there was a carbon tax. And it's like, shit, if I owned an electric car vehicle company, then I would want carbon taxes as well, because of course that would impact the price of gas and buying an electric, buying a, um, a gas powered engine, gas powered vehicle would be more expensive because now you have to pay the carbon tax, et cetera, right? And then he comes up with this comment about Bitcoin and energy and how there needs to be a carbon tax and people are sitting there scratching their head like, what the hell are you talking about, Elon? Like, you're smarter than this. You know what you're saying doesn't add up, right? And it's like, why don't you tell China to kind of ease back on that carbon? Why don't you talk about China, you know, maybe easing back off the amount of coal that they dug up as China burns over half of the world's coal last year, right? And says, despite them saying, oh, yeah, we, we made a pledge that we're going to reduce, you know, the amount of carbon. It's like, well, Elon Musk ain't going to go that route. But all ironically, right? When you see the crackdown and then you read the narrative that up to 75% of the world's Bitcoin mining is done by who? by China, right? Elon Musk ain't actually on the best of terms with China, right? So maybe you're just trying to salvage your company, right? So one government, you're not, you know, maybe you've got issues with that government. Now you run back over here and they're like, well, maybe we need a couple of favors from you, right? Maybe we need a little bit of a favor from you. Maybe we need a little favor from you. <laughs> then you see joe biden out here driving ev vehicles and i'm just like i can't man i can't there's so much manufacturing going on that you have to you have to see as i say you got to see the forest for the trees you have to see the bigger picture you got to see the bigger picture of what's going on i'm just saying